Welcome back to Max's Garage Mahal. Good to see you again. Well, people always ask me about this old S10. I've bought the thing brand new in 1996. Um, it's got um, a little different motor in it than most. It's really the same motor, it's just the programming they had for that one year. They made just a very few of them. And it's not an X series, it's not a W series, it's an L16. Okay. All together, that's the end of the story. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give it a new update, and I'm going to replace. Now, these have never been on the bed that's on this truck. This is a Reese tie-down. These things are handy as the nose on your face, and they have a little tab here to pull up on them if you get both one hand full. You need to get something in there tied down. It's a neat little tool. I'm not going to probably not going to put these back on there. Now I put something between this and the bed to keep it from rusting the bed out. And um, so let's get to it. I've got four new ones. We're going to put those on and we might add these to it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. As I said, these are Reese brands called Reese Secure 9512400. And it says fold away cleat acres. There you go. From Reese. Reese is really famous for their trailer hitches and such as that. Great company. I've used and sold their products for many, many years. So let's go ahead. This is what used to be on this truck. And the bed was replaced after someone set the truck on fire while I was deployed. They stole a whole bunch of stuff out of the back of it. I guess they thought the fire would cover the, the theft. Okay, so two of them survived, even though it did sort of damage them a little bit. They still survived and they're usable. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to replace those. With these. Ain't that pretty. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now these come with a really nice little rubbery plastic mat that the other ones did come with years ago. And I like that. This I always like to protect the paint as much as possible. So all we're going to do is we're going to sit here and line this up by eyeball, squared up to the inside of the bed, inside and outside, like that. And we're going to reach our pocket. And it's going to take really simple tools. Um, one of my pockets contains a drill bit, which is now on the floor. I always got to drop stuff in these movies, videos. But anyway. This is the little tool bit right here. And it's a 960 force. And today we have out the Ryobi tools. Shout out to Ryobi. And half inch maybe a half inch maybe a little overkill. We also have the Ryobi impact wrench here. Number P234G, pretty good little tool, but that'll drive those screws. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to scratch a place with the drill bit, and then we'll probably go get a punch. Stop and I'll go get a punch and a hammer. Okay. Before my roofer came up, we made a couple of scratches. I put a couple of dents in here, but I'm gonna do it again real quickly. Get really good lick on here. This is supposed to be a self-centering punch or self uh, automatic punch, but it never did work. So nowadays I just use it as a punch. Mm. By the way, I hurt my shoulder a while ago. That ain't good. Get out the old trusty case. Get out the old trusty case knife here. Shout out to Case. Been, been carrying these old case knives like this since they come out back in the 
I think they came out in the 70s, early 80s. But anyway, good knives, work well. Uh, I've lost a few, had to replace them. But I try to keep one or two in stock. Just to, I've got one in there with the uh, Roach to Racing Yamaha right now. I laid it down, I think I might drop the downside motor. Just kidding. But if I did, I still got to take the motor part anyway, so it doesn't matter. Somebody tell me that drill wasn't big enough? Alright, let me turn it off. I'll go get another drill. Okay, here we go. Don't like this drill a bit much. Double and triple plated down in there. Where you got several different pieces of sheet metal coming together. Alrighty, let's get this old impact wrench out here. Oh, I wish I didn't pull that muscle on over the Lord. Just a couple more screws out here. Then we'll just mount the other three and run the film pretty fast forwards for you. Wow, that shoulder feels good, guys. Move the camera and get some more. So we went ahead and put the other four on, and I decided to go ahead and put the four new ones on the front. We put some of the old used ones here on the back. We're going to try to find a couple more of these grease cleats here in town and uh, get them on here. And uh, man, I really like these things. Put your dirt bike in here, your boat in the back of it, tie you something around with a hook, tie her down your business, throw your rope around it, you know, just a piece of strap, whatever you got. These things hold really well. Uh, they're only rated for 200 pounds each, but I hate to tell you what I've put on those things, so I probably shouldn't. 
But we hope you enjoyed the video. If you get anything out of it, we hope you'll give us a thumbs up. We need lots of thumbs up. It helps us get more videos seen. And uh, hope you'll share these videos with your friends that may like to know how to do this. And uh, they're just Reese Cleats. Reese uh, Trader Hitch Company makes these things. Been around for a long time. And they look good. They're real low profile. Sit right on top of whatever you want to mount them to. I'm going to take some put them on this little trailer over here as well. And uh, we appreciate you guys coming by Max's Garage Mahal. We we'll hope you hit that little notification bell there down at the bottom so you'll get notified next time the next video comes out. And uh, as we always, always say here at Max's Garage Mahal, y'all come back and see us now, yeah?